Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to our final video of today. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Topic Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video in our series of Introduction to the Kingdom is Part 6, co -hairs. Brothers and sisters, we understand from scriptures in Romans 8 that we are co with Christ. But what does that make us? Just churchgoers? Or people who are praying every day? Or people who belong to a certain denomination or religion? Not at all. Far from that. co are the ones that are belonging to the kingdom of God. That are adopted sons and daughters of the Most High that are true, the true sons of God, the sons and the daughters of the Most High within the Kingdom of Heaven. And when you are part of the Kingdom of Heaven, then you are royalty, you are a prince or a princess of that Kingdom. And when you are part of the Kingdom of God as a princess and you are royalty, then you are as adopted son and daughter, co with Christ to the throne. And you have the ability, even in the Millennium Kingdom here on Earth, the physical manifested Kingdom of God here on Earth, the Millennium Kingdom, you have the ability to sit with Jesus in the throne room. If you know how to fulfill your destiny and your purpose here on Earth, you can become one of the 144,000, you can become the Rachel Bride, and you will then sit with him in the throne room during the Millennium Kingdom, a co with Christ. This is not something that has something to do with any church or denomination or religion at all, but it tells you that you are belonging to the Kingdom. And when you are a prince or princess of that Kingdom, you have duties to fulfill. And these duties are to spread this kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom, no other gospel. Not once saved, always saved. The gospel of the kingdom, that was Jesus spread in obedience to the Father. Jesus always said, I'm telling you nothing that the Father has not given me. And you should be the same. Don't listen to your pastors, don't listen to your churches. Be part of the kingdom of God. Seek the kingdom and its righteousness first, and then everything else will be added to you. Come out of the world, Babylon and the churches, to stand with the kingdom as a true co with Christ, as a true son of God. As it is written in Romans 8, that the whole creation is yearning for the birthing force of the sons of God. That are the co with Christ. And none of these churches, so-called churches, and none of this so-called denomination can put it on their banner that they are the co -heirs. You are only becoming a co with Christ if you're standing for the kingdom, if you're kingdom-minded, if you're focused on that kingdom day and night, if you're representing it, if you're introducing it to other people, if you have the understanding about paradise from where you come and where you will go to. That will make you a prince, a princess of the kingdom of heaven. That will make you royalty, that you belong to it. That will make you a true ambassador and a true representative of that kingdom. And then you become a co -heir because then you are an adopted son and daughter. And as an adopted son and daughter, you can also walk in the footsteps of Jesus. You can walk as his image here on earth, fulfilling true son and daughtership towards the Father to serve Him as only Jesus has done. This can only be possible when you know your position within the Kingdom of Heaven. So a co heir has nothing to do with a religion called Christianity, nor has it to do with a church or a denomination or any other religion. A co heir is the one that has woken up to the Kingdom of God, who knows his position, who knows that he is royalty, that he belongs to the heavenly courts and that he is a true representative and ambassador of that kingdom. And as such, he, his duty is to expand that kingdom and to invite new citizens 
gives them a visa, a new passport towards that kingdom. That is your duty. And not a duty to say, oh, I invite you to my church. No. Introduce to them the kingdom of God and the kingdom principles, all what we have already laid out in this series of introduction to the kingdom. You have to approach the people in a different way, in a kingdom way. And you must live the principles of the kingdom of heaven. You must have a changed lifestyle. Not what you see in a church, but what you see when you meet on the road a true child of the kingdom of God. You will recognize them by their deeds, as it is written in the scripture. You will recognize them by their fruits. You will recognize them by their talks. You will recognize them that they do not belong to the world, Babylon, or any of the churches. Cohere with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ means adopted son and daughters to the kingdom, royalty. You're belonging to the royal house of Judah. We have made a video about that when we talked about Fares and, and Sarah. And as that's royalty, you belong to the kingdom. So you must act as part of that kingdom. Every royalty that belongs to a royal house, even here on earth, will go and represent that kingdom and nothing else. They're not going, let's put it this way, uh, Prince, William, uh, Prince William also will not go out and represent his, his gentleman club in London, right? When he goes forward, he represents the kingdom that he belongs to and nothing else. And so you must introduce to the people the kingdom. You must live the kingdom. You must apply the principles of that kingdom. You must become a true ambassador of the kingdom of heaven. And that makes you a co -heir. That makes you an adopted son and daughter and nothing else. Not anything that you can, can achieve. So worldly means, but you will achieve it by seeking that kingdom and its righteousness first, by bringing forth righteous deeds for that kingdom, by inviting people to come and join, by bringing in a harvest, by being part of the remnant army of kings and priests, by stepping forward every day for this kingdom and for the Father, to love him above all else, and to love your neighbor as yourself in a selfless way, not in a selfish way as the churches do. Step out, become a true co heir with Christ, a true son and daughters of the Most High, the new creation, the new birth, the sons of God are coming for us. And you will be part of it. Pray over it, take it to the Lord, and become royalty. Become a co heir with Christ. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.